Welcome back, Family of Light. This is Davida with Medium of the Light Tarot. I am back with you, Capricorns, for another love reading. Now, I have already asked that the um, people who are going to find this the most healing will have their guides come and help this reading as a collective general reading to help those the most. Hope that made sense. I'm like, hmm? So, Seven of Wands in reverse. Also, please make sure that you like this video because it does help the video to spread around to other Capricorns who need to hear, hear this healing message. And if you find value in my content, please consider subscribing today. I hope to earn your subscription. All right, what do we got going on here? Now I am a medium as well, so if during the re reading I become silent, it means that I am listening to the collective Capricorn energy here, who this is gonna resonate for. So just be patient if I am silent. If you are looking to speak to deceased loved ones as well, my services are listed down below, and I'm also doing um, private readings at this time. All right, that extra card wanted to come out and they said to take it and I'm saying yes. All right, so they're wanting, they're pointing out to me at the bottom of the deck is the magician, which means that you are manifesting, they are manifesting, and we will see how it rolls out from here. Looks like you're a little unbalanced right now. Generally, this is you, this is them, and this is the storyline. So if you're familiar with my channel, welcome back. If you're new subscribers, welcome. So you, them, storyline. But flip these two, of course, as it reads for you. You know that there's divine timing here, and it seems to me, Capricorn, that you're like, eh, I don't know if this is worth it. You know, and I think that spirit came and kind of was kind of like, meh. <laughs> We're going to have to put this situation on hold for a minute to have appropriate healing is what I'm hearing occur. So with this 10 of wands here, it's you're considering walking away or you've already walked away. But in the middle of, you know, the, these two disappointments here and this kind of giving up, there's the temperance going, no, but wait. There is divine timing here, my dear. So they were trying to give and take equally, but they couldn't. They're tried. It's like there's a lot of trying on their side. It's like they tried, they tried. I'm trying. But then you're just like, well, you're not trying hard enough is what I'm hearing. So with this Ace of Pentacles, it's kind of like a false start where they thought they were going to be able to offer you something um, real and then they and they couldn't and then they come back to you with this knight of cups energy like i got all the goods i got the picnic i got the roses you know i got the love note here and it just seems to be kind of you're just like you're just they're not showing up So here's the nine of cups in reverse here. So it's, you know, a wish fulfillment that has not occurred. Not yet. And we've got the ace of cups here in reverse too. You know, we've got the world in the upright. So spirit, what do you want to say here? They're saying that this person that you're dealing with is a bit of a Casanova. You know, they're a bit of, they're, there's some player energy that's going on here. And you see it, you know, and it causes this, this fighting here. And I also feel with this Five of Wands here that there was some kind of a competition where... Um,
you found out that there was another person competing for this person's um, attention. And that's when you're like, oh, I'm out. You know, but the universe is saying, no, but wait, there's more. <laughs> here is the five of pentacles here. This is my soulmate twin flame card where it's someone coming back from the past. I think that's what they're trying to get at is, you know, this person is still in player energy because that's what they've been doing. You know, and it's put you in this, you know, going within, trying to heal your heart with this temperance card. You know, and to me, you're, you're very closed off too because this doesn't seem like it was something that you guys were deep into a relationship. This was like initial dating and you both expressed that there is something here. And then you found out that there's um, another person, you know, coming uh, or coming for this person or has an interest in this person and they were entertaining it. And you're like, well, if you're entertaining it, honestly, it must not be that special of a connection to you. So bye. And then it brought this tower moment, which is again, another divine situation where it needed to happen, you know, and for you, you're like, oh, I'm walking away. You know, and for them, they're like, oh, she's, she's walking away. Because there wasn't that equal give and take. So with this Ace of Pentacles, what do we got going on here? Yeah, they tried to pretend like they could offer you the world, but really all they could offer you is this. The Nine of Cups here. The Nine of Cups with the Five of Cups. Yeah, there's just a lot of disappointment. You know, it was like, you you know, you come to find out that they're entertaining other options. So they weren't really, you feel like they weren't really offering you this um, Ace of Cups here, but Spirit saying this card is twofold. They do have feelings for you. They do. And the situation did not lend itself well because of this player energy before they met you. And that's just this card. They're telling me so much like it just makes you feel like, oh, here I am underwater again. You know, while he's got these, this other option here, you know, where's my justice? It's almost, you know, like you're just giving up. You're letting yourself drown. But I get that this is them too. You know, because they're howling at the fact that, yeah, this other person was over here, but they're not really that interested. It was just more of their old, their way of being a player. And they're like, but where's my person? My person is underwater now, and I now I feel I'm underwater. You know, and with this world card comes the Three of Pentacles. They do want to build something with you. Wow. There is love here. You know, maybe some some of you Capricorns don't want to hear this. You're going to be like, fuck them. They can go themselves. But there's signs here that they are trying. They were in player energy because they didn't find you. And they're an attractive person. And so they attract attention. And so um, I'm not saying that you are quick to judge, but I kind of feel like you were. Spirit, what do you think? I said, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But under the circumstances, totally get it. Totally get it. If you already knew they were somewhat of a player, a Casanova, real charming, oh, a black widow. I wouldn't know that's not the right word. That's like a, a tempter. Uh, Divine Feminine Temptress. What would that be considered? Leave a comment down below. I can't think of it right now. But um, yeah, there is love here. There is this option. There is this opportunity, not option. Um, it's putting them in this hermit mode. 
where they're going, oh my gosh, I have to reflect. And it's interesting that it's right by the water here because, you know, and they're looking out towards the water. And remember I said that they're, they were look, looking for you. They're like, well, where did you go? What happened? So there, this is, this is um, where the divine timing is coming in. Where you're going to have to wait and see if they can get themselves out of this player energy and if they're going to come towards you. And I think that was actually not really necessarily your original tactic or your response to the disappointment, but it is with this tower moment and this um, temperance, it needed to happen. So let's see. I would just say be patient. You know, and you can continue dating too, right? Because you guys had just, uh, <laughs> and as I'm saying that, the Three of Swords come out in reverse. So I don't think that you're in any form ready to date because this wounded you. But know that they, this situation has made them go within and see how they want to approach the situation. If they want to come back around and be like, hey, you know, I saw that you kind of just kind of ghosted me or... Because let me see. Um, yeah, it was just kind of like you you heard or you saw what was happening. And you didn't say anything for the most of you. You just walked away. And so give them some time to do some hermit, you know, reflecting, going within, seeing what's going on. And then see if they come back again. Because I do feel that this person... acknowledges that there's there's something here yeah they want a fresh start and you want to release the past and to you i feel that you're very um guarded around this and i get it you're just like oh god here we go yet another one but this is going to put them in a dark night of the soul with that hermit card because they are unawakened and you know they need to do some changing here Spirits are obviously saying, okay, your player days are over, so you might as well kind of go within, do some of your shadow work, see why you might be a player, and go from there. Yeah, because, you know, they might be bound in this old cycle of, you know, because they're attractive, they get so many offers, blah, blah, blah. Hmm. Yeah, spirits talking to them right now. So give it time, move, move, move uh, along your way, along your path, find what makes you happy. You know, what's your hobbies? What's your goals? You know, go into those, you know, especially if you're not ready to go and date because this, this person, even though this was a new situation, kind of broke you down where you're like, oh my God, here we go again. You know, wait for the signs. But in the meantime, you do you. All right, Capricorn, I hope that that was helpful. Please make sure that you like this video so it does get spread around to the other Capricorns that need to hear this healing message. And please subscribe if you found this valuable. Thank you so much. Have a good day.